Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 1.39 from Munson and Young, Fluid Mechanics, 6th edition. According to this problem, a closed tank having a volume of 2 feet cube is filled with 0 0.30 LP of a gas. A pressure gauge attached to the tank reads 12 psi when the gas temperature is 80 degree Fahrenheit. There is some question as to whether the gas in the tank is oxygen or helium. So to solve this problem, first of all let's write what has been given to us. So we have been given the volume of the gas which is 2 pit cube. We know the weight of the gas which is 0 0.30 LB and we know the gauge pressure which is 12 psi but we would require for our calculation the absolute pressure so absolute pressure is equals to the sum of gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure so from here p absolute is 12 plus 14.7 which is the atmospheric pressure so absolute pressure could be written as 26.7 psi we would be using this value similarly we have been given the temperature in terms of Fahrenheit but we would use the temperature in terms of Rankine so to convert the temperature from Fahrenheit to Rankine we have to add 460 80 degree Fahrenheit plus 460 is equals to 540 Rankine. We would be using this value. Now we would find the density of the unknown gas by using the basic formula, which is density of unknown gas. is equals to mass upon volume and mass could be written as weight over acceleration due to gravity divided by volume and density could be written as weight over acceleration due to gravity into volume so from here weight is equals to 0 0.30 lb and in the units of fit and second the acceleration due to gravity is equals to 32.2 fit per second squared and the volume is 2 fit cube so from here density of unknown gas is equals to 4.66 exponent negative 3 slugs per fit cube this is the density of unknown gas Now to find whether the gas is helium or oxygen, we would find the densities of individual gas in terms of ideal gas equation. So by ideal gas equation, which is equals to pressure into volume is equals to mass into gas constant over T. From here, P is equals to M upon V into RT, and pressure is equals to density times gas constant over temperature. So from here, density could be written as pressure upon gas constant over temperature. For helium, First of all, we have to convert this pressure, which is in terms of pounds per square inch, into pounds per square feet, because the dimensions of the volume are given in feet cube. So, one pound per square feet is equals to one forty-four pounds per square inch. So, if we use this equation, the density is equals to pressure which is 26.7 psi 
Now we have to multiply it with 144 because we have to convert PSI in terms of PSF divided by the gas constant of helium which could be determined from the table. So from the table in BG units, the gas constant of helium is 1.242 exponent 4. into the temperature in Rankine which is 540 so from here density of helium comes out to be 5.732 6 exponent negative 4 slux per fit cube now for oxygen We have the same equation, we have the same pressure and we have to convert it into pounds per square foot. So we would multiply it with 144 divided by the gas constant for oxygen. And from the table, the gas constant for oxygen is 1.554 exponent 3. into the temperature in Rankine. So from here, density of oxygen is equals to 4.5817 exponent negative 3 slux per fit cube. By looking at these two values of the densities, we could clearly conclude then the density of unknown gas closely matches with the density of oxygen. So our conclusion is gas in the tank is oxygen because density of unknown gas approximately equals to the density of oxygen. So this is the answer to this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any doubt about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.